Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel I review many video and audio related products, uh, cameras, film and equipment, lighting, sound and what have you. Um, and today we're taking a look at what is actually quite an old product but absolutely superb piece of kit. It's the Atomos Ninja Star and here she is. This is the actual Atomos Ninja Star, um, a very compact uh, little HD ProRes 422 recorder. Now, I purchased this to complement uh, two of my uh, little Sony, well actually three as well if you include the GoPro, but uh, two of my little uh, HD camcorders, um, or cameras, not camcorders. Um, the first one is the Sony A5100. Now, I purchased this fairly recently. Um, it's a great stills camera. It's an APS-C camera, 20, I think it's 24 megapixel, 20 megapixel, I don't know. Um, but it takes great stills, but it takes fantastic video, albeit HD, it's not 4K, but it is excellent. And I use this um, uh, quite a bit. And I, I bought it primarily as a vlogging camera, so you can actually see, you know, what you're doing etc etc um, although I've not actually done any vlogging with it as to whether I will or not who knows but um, the problem with all these little cameras this one and my little RX100 Mark IV that I have here um, they have limitations on how long you can record for now this one overheats after five minutes so does the RX100 Mark IV overheat after five minutes so um, I needed something but I, and that's me clock going, can you hear that, those chimes? Um, <laughs> um, so I, let's wait for those clocks to chime. I thought I'd actually wound it down, obviously not. There we go. Um, so I purchased the Atomos Ninja Star to complement this little A5100. And it's a really good com uh, combination. Uh, I've got a little, little bracket because this fits on a bracket and that would be as nice and compact fits on a bracket like that takes up hardly any space and there's hardly any weight to it even with a sony battery on the back um, this doesn't look very compact because of a big lens but with uh, a smaller lens on it's very very compact um, talking about cameras and lenses just so you know i'm actually filming this a main camera is filmed uh, is being filmed in my sony rx10 mark ii which is that one there and that's where the sound is being picked up. I'm using a Sony radio mic for the sound. I've got me a Sony A6500 over there, uh, which is picking up all these lovely close-ups. Uh, connected to that is my Atomos Ninja Flame. And I've got a GoPro um, Hero 4 of the back there, just getting a general wide shot. Now, hopefully everything's recording. Um, now, getting back to the Ninja Star. The Ninja Star is a really compact, uh, ProRes um, HD ProRes 422 recorder. Now um, it takes the CFast cards, which is a bit of a drawback, a minor drawback because they're really expensive. Even now they're still really expensive. I've got two 64 gig cards, and you get about an hour to an hour 15 minutes if you're recording in HQ mode on a 64 gig card. Just slots in the side there. I have a nicely job done. Um, and it's got a lovely set of features on the front here. You've got your record button, just hold that in for recording, play, um, if, play only if you've got an external monitor connected to it. Now, on the side here, let's go through its connections. On the side here, we've got two HDMI ports on the side here, so we've got in and out, but they're both micro HDMI, which is a bit of a pain, to be honest. Um, micro HDMI is never that reliable, uh, so just be really careful that uh, you get a good cable and a good connection. Um, if you do lose the connection, for whatever reason, it won't record and a red light will come up on the display, which doesn't really help you if you're in the middle of filming, but at, at least you know it isn't going to record anything. Um, and it's got HDMI out, so you can actually feed it to an external monitor. Um, I would highly recommend when you first get this out of the box and you're setting it up, use an external monitor to set it up with, just to make sure your camera isn't uh, um, is, uh, is recording. Uh, sorry, making sure your camera is outputting a clean HDMI feed and not the menu but the menu controls and what have you. And because uh, you don't want that, you want a clean HDMI out. I know some of the Canons can't feed a clean HDMI out, so 
you ought to check that first. Um, so that is the, uh, basically that's all the inputs on the side. It's got audio in, it's line level audio. It isn't mic level. So you will need a cable to increase the level to mic level. If you do that, it's awesome because I've done that. I've got a cable with my microphone that works uh, with this, because this camera hasn't got a mic input, and neither has my RX104. So having a ProRes recorder that records higher quality than the SD card does, because the bit rate is so much better, um, it's also got mic input, because this camera doesn't have a mic input, so it's awesome. The only trouble is you don't have a headphone jack, so you still can't monitor the audio, but um, you can see the audio levels, but it's, it's not much cop, but at least you can see there's audio coming into it. Um, and uh, so that's basically um, the unit. It converts, uh, if a camera only feeds a uh, interlay signal out, this does convert it to um, progressive. So you've got a little mode here, convert from interlays to progressive, which is great for producing YouTube can content and the like. Um, and as I said, the controls are very easy. On this side, you've got your compact, uh, not compact flash, your CFast card. That just goes in the side. So that's absolutely excellent. Um, and it's got a mounting plate, a metal mounting plate with various screw hole threads on all the way around it. And, and the base, uh, big threads and small threads um, and standard Sony uh, LP, I'm not sure what the batteries are, but the Sony battery is very easy to get hold of. I've got loads of them. Um, the old Z1s used to take the same batteries and what have you. Um, so there we go. As I said, the only drawback with it, it takes CFast cards, um, but you can pick them up off eBay at a reasonable price. Um, so that's not a massive drawback. Um, and there's no monitor, but obviously there wouldn't be because it's too small. You need to go up to the lights of the um, Atomos Ninja Blade to get the, uh, the monitor features. The Blade is a great, great, great product. Um, so there we go. That's the Atomos Ninja Star. Um, uh, the battery lasts for ages as well. You'll get four or five hours worth, maybe six hours from one battery. So you're never going to worry about the battery running out. It is awesome. It is really good. So that's the Atomos Ninja Star. I'm really pleased I purchased it. Works great also with my RX100. Um, it's also great if you've got some old uh, cameras or camcorders, such as the Sony V1, which came out just after the Z1, um, that's got HDMI out, connect that to it, you don't need to worry about tapes. So you're bringing back to life an old camcorder um, and not having, to, not having to worry about tapes. The Canon HV20 and the XHA1, um, the uh, HDV uh, camcorders, this will work great with that. Again, it converts it from interlaced to progressive. So yeah, very, very nice piece of kit. Very, very pleased I purchased it. Um, so there we go, quick review on the Atomos uh, Ninja Star. Um, if you do like my reviews, I'm sure you do and I hope you do, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and thanks very much for all of you that have and uh, hit the like button and tell all your friends. I really do enjoy doing these reviews and uh, I hope to do the next one soon. So keep your eyes out for the next one and uh, thanks very much indeed, thanks for watching. Cheers and bye for now.